Hi everyone, we meet again. So for today, this is uh, modeling for the fork. Um, if you know, you should be watching the modeling for the spoon first before you actually uh, start going for the fork tutorial instead. Because in the spoon um, modeling tutorial, I've basically I uh, taught you guys how to set up the image plane here alright so I don't want to set it up again in records so I don't waste time so I'm going to watch the previous video the spoon modeling to you know understand how to set up the image plane the picture here the two pictures alright so let me change to a different view here Right. Okay, more clear. Okay, so now same thing like how you like how I model the spoon. I'm going to focus focus on this two flat view here. So I'm going to like draw the box on the front view, same like before. Alright, make the thickness, press number 5. And adjust how it looks like here, number 5. And on the X ray mode, for both flat view, the front and the side view, and center the inner channel box, and the inner channel box center the uh, X. Position, alright, so it's really center here along the line, and you can start to add more segment here. So I'm adding one segment with perspective so you can see it. I'm adding one segment here in the middle. I just add a few horizontal uh, edges around it, and then Go to face, delete half of this, right? And what I'm going to do is show me. Just want to bring this all the way up, all the way up to the neck of the fork, all right? Same method as before. So this looks like we arrange it. We arrange the vertex. Put this down and here a bit. Right, so from here, use the insert edge loop. Set a couple uh, loops. Go to vertex again, you just modify the shape. Okay. Alright, now going to perspective view. So, as you can see here, I'm not finished on a side view. So, I'm going to look at it on a side view and see what's going on here. So just fix our position. Push it back. Okay. 
Uh, it takes some great patience to actually do 3D, especially actually any part of it. So modeling or <coughs> te texturing or lighting or animating, it's all, it's all about having great passion and patience in doing your work. Okay, so that's part done already. So right. Now I'm gonna face, select the top of the face using extrude. Spool that up. Going to front view. Just so focus on that. Press F. So just start over here. And go to the vertex. Spool this to the side. I think, we need, I think we need more segment here, so I'm going to use the insert edge loop. Okay. Just, just rescale this. And this would be a good time to see the side profile of it. Match it up. But this is a slightly a bit more easier in terms of. Uh, getting to this area because the fork is kind of flat a bit right so it's uh, more easy to do it all right so done uh, going to perspective view oh yeah don't forget to delete the control shift delete the polygons there in the middle all right now let's take a look at so let's bring in the clone you know, let's clone this object first go to object mode select the object and then duplicate special right so duplicate special uh, make sure it's negative one on the scale of X and instant and will and press duplicate special okay done so now next step will be to Create this extrusion of the fork uh, pins. You know, we have the like one, two, three. So we set it for three. If you look on the front view, so what we need is we need an edge loop cutting across here. So we need around two more cuttings. So let's go to edit, um, insert edge loop, and edit from here, and edit from here. All right. So it goes all the way down until that. Okay, but now that we have additional um, vertex here, it's so straight, so don't don't waste it. So make it make a curve out of it, right? So just curve out the shape because you have more polygons now to further refine the curve on the buttons. Okay, let's take a look again down there. Right. So I'm gonna select some vertex and press F to zoom in to that area that I need to focus on. Right. So now what I want is actually to use face. Let's do this one first. I mean use uh, extrude. All right. See what can do here. Curve thickness. So, um, just use extrude, edit mesh, extrude, set the offset. If it's too hard for you to change on that, just type it in. And zero point two. Be too big. Zero point zero five. Still too big. Let's put the zero first. Let's type there zero point zero zero one. Very little. Still nine. Okay, right. So I think good. it should be around zero point zero one. And then this. Uh, do just uh, push it out a bit 
okay and then press G again to extrude pull it up make sure you look at the front view here pull all the way to the tip and all the way to 0 0.05 but oh, it's too small so we 0 0.008 we just click outside click it here if it's too difficult so we just use the scale we scale it manually make sure your mouse is at the center here and scale it smaller all right so we need to do this for all three same steps so we press G um, again 0 0.001 oh, no. 0 0.005 still too little 0 0.00 mm. oh, 0 0.01 right so yeah we start from 0 0.01 and we can also do with this one press G 0 0.01 control shift select and press G, spring is up, go to front view, all the way up to the tip. Okay, I'm going to go to our perspective view, press F to focus on it. Then you scale and just scale it smaller. Double click on this. Okay, let's see. It should be local. Set to local. Let's try this. Oh, it's okay. Never mind. So just ignore this. We're going to do one by one. Alright. There you go. To go to oh, I forgot to, to bring this up high a bit. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna select the edges. Just double click on it. I want to select the loop. So never mind. So what we're gonna do is hold Control Shift select select. Select, select, and select all the way across. And now we're going to go to move and move this higher a bit. Okay, oh, all right. I want to see how it looks like when I press uh, number three. Smooth it out. I mean, so I have to go to object mode first. Okay, look at that. Number one. Number three. The problem is it's uh, too sharp here. So in the picture, it's a bit uh, not that sharp. So go back number one. Low poly. We need to determine the. We need to add more uh, segment here by using the insert edge loop. Just click, put it right somewhere at the edge. That should do the trick. All right. Now let's see. Press number two with a object mode. Select the object and press number three. There you go. It should be just fine. Alright, if it's not uh, thick enough, 
I mean, if it's thin enough on the side, see the side view here. If it's thin enough, see it's a little bit thin from the compared to the picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave. Aspect number three. Go to the uh, face, select all the faces here. You scale. Just pull on the blue one. All right, the blue axis, which is the Z axis. So just make it fatter a bit. Um, maybe not too much. Slightly it should be okay. You see. Uh, from here to here it should be should just be just nice. Go over to object mode and press number three. Okay, more better. Right, in the side view. Oh, it's too thin. All right, going back. So for wasting your time here. But you know, if you're into perfection, you have to make that work. Okay, should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to object mode. I'm gonna combine these two, you know, together. Uh, mesh combine, and you know what I'm doing next? Weld the middle edges here because it is not. Definitely not welded. See, there's a hole here. So I'm going to use the front view to my advantage. See the C selecting just the middle part. Control Shift. Control Shift. All right. Control Shift. Control Shift. Okay, just a bit more. Last one, I think. All right. Okay, all is selected. I'm gonna weld this. I'm gonna I mean, merge this vertex together, together by using the edit meshed um, merge to here. Let's try the default merge. Let's see in perspective. If we, I got this right or not? See, yeah, whoa. voila! It is nice. Let's see in, in let's see in the smooth mode. Number three, mm, pretty good. All right. So that's how you do your modeling for your fork. All right. So. You hopefully you guys should get this done quickly. I mean, I mean, I do it in a few minutes. So it's all about practice. The more you practice, the more faster you get. And hope you hope this is uh, being really helpful for you guys. So I hope you guys can complete your exercise too. And thanks for watching.